Hello friends, welcome to session 9 on projection of plane surfaces. Now we will do a circular lamina. See here, we will uh, for the first time, okay, after triangular lamina, square lamina, pentagonal lamina and hexagonal lamina, it will be circular lamina. Please understand this circular lamina later on gets converted in solids as cone or prisms, sorry, or cylinders. Okay. Now it is a circular lamina. Let us say it's a diameter 125. Okay. Well, circular lamina of diameter 125. See here, I have divided this circle into eight equal parts because this circular lamina, no, uh, this circular lamina, unlike hexagonal lamina or pentagonal lamina, has no edges. When you tilt it, it has to rest on a point only. It has no corners, no edges and all that. That is why when you divide into eight equal parts, we imagine eight edges here. Imagine, it's all imaginary edges. Eight imaginary edges and eight imaginary corners, and that is corners, that is, we call it as a point. Now anyway, I have drawn a circle of diameter 125. Okay. You see, I have called it as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay. These are all the points of circular lamina of diameter 125. Since the diameter is more, I'm, uh, I advise you to take a scale of 1 is to 2. That is, reducing scale 1 is to 2. So that 125 will be 125 by 2 is the diameter. Okay. In that way, if you divide, that is, if you name it as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, when you are looking from here, A can be seen, A dash. This B can be seen, H, H cannot be seen, B dash, H dash. C can be seen, G cannot be seen, C dash, G dash. D can be seen, F cannot be seen, D dash, F dash. In that way, next is E dash. Okay. And I have imagined 8 uh, points here. Okay. And imaginary 8 edges I have assumed. Okay. Now, if you see here, I will copy that is move and copy and rotate such that surface is inclined at 60 degrees to HP. Now you see the XY line. When it is XY line, it is A dash and XY line. A dash means you can't call it as a corner. You can't call it as a corner, but it is an imaginary point of circumference of the circular lamina. Okay. It is an imaginary point of the circumference of circular lamina. Okay. This is an imaginary point. Okay. This it is resting on a point of its rim of the circumference. You can even call it as rim of the circumference or uh, so that is an imaginary point on the circumference. Okay. See here it is resting on imaginary point A and HP such that the surface is inclined at 60 degrees to HP. See here when you say surface inclined at 60 degrees to HP you see here there is a diameter AE. Can you understand? This diameter AE is parallel to VP. Correct? No? That means what you see in the front view is the diameter length only. That is 125 only you can see. That is if you take a scale 125 by 2. Okay. The 125 only you see. When you move it parallel to VP, this front view and this front view will remain same because this diameter will be moving parallel to VP only. Because when you lift this E up, when you lift this uh, circular lamina up, it will be resting on A. When you are in the process of lifting, A e is still parallel to VP. Okay, in that way, this front tube and this front tube will remain same. Okay, now what you do is, uh, all these points and all that you have, take the projectors down. Okay, on this you should get A and D, on this B and F, on this G, C, B and D, C in that way, get all the points. Okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Now you see carefully here. Now you see carefully here. Now, after tilting, no, to sur sur surface inclination of 60 degrees, in the top view, it is appearing as an ellipse. Okay, it is appearing as an ellipse because this diameter has considerably been reduced. But whereas this CG, no, is still in true length is CG, this diameter is still in length, but all imaginary edges 
all imaginary edges have been reduced okay have have been reduced in that way it looks like an ellipse okay you see here ae is inclined at 60 degrees since it is inclined at 60 degrees okay it looks it it it, it reduces here yeah, this ae since it is 60 degrees to hp ae has reduced depending on its inclination as the inclination goes on increasing this ae goes on reducing okay in that way ae becomes the minor axis minor axis cg is the major axis of this ellipse okay now once you have done it you see here what i have done here is what i have done is here is you see the problem here is as long as inclination to hp constant okay if you rotate this circular lamina pivoted at a please mind that 60 degrees to hp are not changing pivoted at a if you rotate the circular lamina to any position keeping inclination constant the top view does not change okay now i have tilted to such a position okay this a which is on hp is also lying on vp okay that means the point the problem here is a circular lamina of diameter 50 has a point of its rim or circumference on hp with a diameter or circumference so with a diameter or surface inclined at 60 degrees to hp and the point is not corner point on hp is also on vp that is why what you do is take the same top view take the same top view move it rotate it in such a way that a is touching x y line see here i have i have copied and moved it here such that a is touching x y line here okay then take the projectors up okay take the projectors up and get on this you should get b and h on this you should get c and g d and f e you get the front view also correspondingly you have the top view you have the front view top view okay now you know very well this top view is what this top view a corner that is point a and hp surface inclined at 60 degrees to hp okay is constant the top view is not changing here the surface of the lamina is inclined at 60 degrees to hp a is already on hp now you have put a and x y line that means a is at the intersection of hp vp that is on x y line that is intersection of hp vp that is on x y now for this position when you are looking from the front view okay how it appears this is how it appears it has been drawn here now as you know here uh, this is very interesting thing what you should observe okay this i was telling you you draw x1 y1 vp hp rpp you are rpp means right profile plane on right profile plane what you should get when you are looking from the left when you are looking from the left okay left you you will get it on rpp okay in that way this is e double dash d double dash f double dash c double dash g double dash b double dash h double dash this is a double dash you get all this draw 45 degree line get a double dash b double dash h double dash c double dash d double dash d double dash f double dash e double dash in that way if you do this okay if you do this if you do this you know very well it is seen as a line in the side view that means the lamina you can say it is perpendicular to rpp okay it is because when a lamina is seen as a line in any of the plane you can say the lamina if it is seen as a line in any particular plane you can say it is immediately perpendicular to uh, that particular plane since it is seen as a line in rpp it is perpendicular to rpp now you say this is anyway 60 degrees to hp which i have maintained 60 degrees to hp naturally it will be 30 degrees to vp also in that way this problem has been completed without any problem okay this type of problem you should be careful because here okay you are not only doing front view top view in this complex position you are doing the left view also and you are proving that in this position okay in this position yeah, since uh, all this e double dash d double dash f double dash c double dash g double dash b double dash h double dash double dash a double dash and all that it will form the line in the side view okay it is seen as a line and it is perpendicular to rpp okay and the side view will be 
a line that means perpendicular torque will be front view, top view and side view also we have it. Okay. Now you see here in the next problem extra one. These are all extra one. It is just for you to uh, know. Okay. This you please know this. Now in, uh, this problem you now you see here more or less the same. A circular lamina of diameter 125 as a point of its rim on uh, point of its rim or circumference on HP surface inclined at 60 degrees. Now CG is the diameter which is still in true length, though it is ellipsoid. But CG, no, this is the diameter of the circular lamina. Okay, this, if you see this, this CG is inclined at 30 degrees to VP. In this position, what exactly is the front view? I have written here. That means what you should say is point on HP, surface inclined at 60 degree or diameter inclined at 60 degrees to HP, other diameter. Okay, other diameter perpendicular to the previous one diameter is AE, which I have already inclined at 60 degrees to HP, which has been reduced. But this diameter has not reduced. No, this other diameter perpendicular to the previous is inclined at 30 degrees to VP means you should do this way. Okay, do this at 30 degrees, get the corresponding front view and you, you can use that is R arc uh, three point and in that way. Carefully selecting this point, this point will point this. In that way, carefully you can join all this. Okay. In that way, this problem gets completed. Problem in extra two, you see here. Here, what is that? We will say up till here. Point on HP, surface or diameter inclined at 60 degrees to HP. Correct? No? Same as that previous step. If they change the problem, you should know how to do, how to make changes and all that. You should know. If they make any changes in the problem, it can't be in the same way. Small changes. For the third stage top view, whatever they say, you should stick to that. You should use, use your intelligence and thinking power and you should change appropriately at the third stage. Nowadays, point on HP, surface inclined at 60 degree or diameter inclined at 60 degrees to HP. Now, if you see here, this CG, no, CG is the other diameter. This is in true length, okay, in the top view. CG, I have made it parallel here. That means... That means this diameter, one diameter is not only parallel to HP, but parallel to VP also. That's what I given. That's what I have written here. A diameter is parallel to both HP and VP means you make CG parallel to XY line. So that when you in this way, surface inclined at 60 degree with a diameter parallel to both HP and VP means you see that you rotate about a, this point such that CG is parallel to XY line. That means in this position, it is point on HP, point on HP, surface inclined at 60 degrees and a diameter, I rotated in, a, in such a way that a diameter is parallel to XY line, parallel to VP. And when it is parallel to VP, it is already parallel to HP. When it is in the front view also, the same length can be seen. It is this CG, C dash, G dash or CG parallel to HP, here parallel to VP. In that way, a diameter is parallel to both HV and VP. Okay, in, the, in this type of problem, if they give, you can do. Okay, next, uh, you see here, same problem, point on HP, surface or diameter inclined at 60 degrees to HP. Now, you can say, what exactly is the problem here? Now, pivoted about A, I have rotated in such a way that a, this E, no, it is a point on the same diameter. Other, it is point A and HP. E is the other point on the same diameter. It is lying on VP. That means make AE perpendicular so that E is on XY line. That is a point of circumference on HP and opposite point on the same diameter. Opposite point on the same diameter is E. That is lying on VP. Make E here. Uh, that is E put an XY line. And in that way you get the front view. Okay. In that way you are able to do different different types of problems here. You see here. Even this you see here. Up till here, same. What I have done here, AE I have inclined at 45 degree. AE, don't you think it is not in true length? It is the top view of the diameter. Top view of the diameter is AE. That is inclined at 45 degrees to VP. In that way, you get up all the points, make clear dots here using 2 mm thickness point and join this. In that way, you are able to get the uh, projection even for this complex positions and all that. This is the end of session 9. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.